part of the dream team. All the best players coming together for one team. But what if you had a team so good, they never even had to practice? Well, former Seattle Symphony conductor Gerard Schwartz has done just that. He brought together all the best classical musicians in the country to form the All-Star Orchestra. The All-Star Orchestra has a new series on PBS in which they play all the great masterpieces in just one take. George Schwartz, conductor and music director of the All-Star Orchestra. Thanks for stopping by, Pi. It's great to be here, Stephen. Thank you. You've brought together some of the best musicians, the finest musicians in the United States for this show. How did you pick them? Oh, boy. A lot of them were just people I've known over many years. Uh, some people from here, from New York Philharmonic, from the Metropolitan Opera, from Chicago or from San Francisco. Musicians I've known, I've worked with, I admired. Uh, I tried to pick the ones that I thought would work together well, people with the right personality. It's, you, c you can't have a bunch of prima donnas in an all-star orchestra because it'll be a mess. You have to have people who want to have fun making music together on the highest possible level. <laughs> But you have concert masters and principals and first chair players from some of the finest orchestras in the United States. How could there not be some prima donnas and how, how would that serve ensemble playing? I don't know how it happened because, because people said to me, how can you bring together 90 musicians who have never played together before? Mm -hmm. And you start recording from the minute they sit down, how can they play with good ensemble? How can they play with a homogeneous sound? How can that happen? Orchestras play together for years before they can do that. And I said, you know, trust me, that's what I do. It will happen. And most people uh, didn't believe me. Most people didn't believe in four days we could f record eight hour long shows, but we did. But why no rehearsal? Was it just a matter of time? You've got these, these people in their place for a limited amount of time, or was this sort of a grand experiment? It, 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 both. Yes. Limited time. We wanted to do all eight shows mm -hmm. in those four days. Now, I could have done six shows. If I got into trouble, I had plans for reducing the number of shows, but I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> also, when you do that, it means that everyone's playing their best from the, from the moment. I had to take experienced players. I had to have only people that knew the repertoire, because I, I didn't have time to teach Dathis and Chloe to the violin section, which is very hard for them. They all had to have played it and know it. Then I marked the parts meticulously. So every nuance was marked. And then I conducted the nuances. And the players, from their own description and from what I could see, did two things. They watched me, which was nice. <laughs> they didn't For a change? <laughs> ignore me. Sometimes players don't really pay right. much attention sure. until the last rehearsal. I'm sorry to say that, but it's mm -hmm. true. And they listened like they were playing chamber music. That was the most extraordinary thing. The idea of no audience, the most important thing was that we could put the cameras anywhere we wanted. We didn't have to worry about being in people's right. way. Right. Because quite frankly, live concerts, you have to be, be careful. You don't want to upset the experience for the audience. So if you think about what we did, the last time in this country that I can remember uh, made for television uh, was Omnibus with Leonard Bernstein in the early 1950s. That's how long it's been. You're shooting a performance with all of the television tools and technology at your disposal, not having to worry about an audience to, to, to have to wait for a take um, to provide this incredible recording. That's the idea. As I've you know, grown in my experience as an artist over many years, I used to start by making recordings, CDs or LPs in the early days, and I wanted it to be like a concert. 
And as I got older, I realized, well, I don't want it to be like a concert anymore because a recording is a different art form. Right. And I want it to be like the greatest recording I can make. Right. Different than the greatest concert I could do. And when I did this series, I wanted to do the greatest television show. For me, this is a television. This is not a concert. This is what concerts will, I mean, will, will inspire people to go to concerts because concerts are a completely different, wonderful experience. I'm not trying to people say, don't go to concerts, yeah. just watch this. Sure. But this is the introduction to going to concerts. That's, that's how I see it. The All Star Orchestra airs every Friday night at 10 p.m. here on KCTS. Did it go in? Yeah. yeah. Local production of Pi is made possible by BECU.